There is an abundance of engineering jobs here in the Permian Basin, but not many of those positions are actually filled by women. Some women who do work is, as engineers in West Texas are trying to encourage others to do the same. Big Two's Felice Romero joins us live from the Petroleum Museum in Midland. Felice. Eddie and Katie XTO Energy holds this event every year. They want girls to know there's room for them in the field of engineering. A study by the Society of Women Engineers says only 13% of engineers in the United States are women, a statistic that doesn't surprise XTO Energy. Right now, there are not as many women in engineering as there are males. Lafferty says events like these get her excited about the future makeup of engineering. That serves as a way to give role models and kind of show them that there are these women that are doing this work out here. Midland native Katie Moore says she's enjoyed her work in the engineering field in the Permian Basin. But she says it's rare that she sees other women pursuing the same career. Yes, I think growing up, I didn't really know of many women in the industry, and I thought it was really exciting, especially going to the classes that I was one of the only females in. One of the best parts about her job? Being the role model she never had for young girls in Midland. I think it's important to help out the community that you work in. A message that was heard loud and clear by Girls Thursday. I have been, like, into science since I was really little, so it's great to be here. Like, I honestly didn't know that you could do this stuff in college. One student tells us just being at the event can get girls excited for the future. Other little girls can, from watching, they can see how a difference people can make on, especially women, on our future and oil. The students we spoke to today say they're excited to keep learning and they look forward to working in the Permian Basin. Live in Midland, Feliz Romero, Big Two News.